Ping and trace route are two tools that are critical when testing TCP IP network connectivity. Ping is a network administration utility that is used to test the reach ability of a device on an IP network. This utility also measures the time it takes for messages that are sent from the originating host to a destination host and back again. The traceroute utility is a network diagnostic tool for displaying the path or route of packet and for measuring the transit delays of packets traveling over an IP network. Use the ping command for basic network testing. Use the ping command to verify end-to-end -end connectivity. Ping operates by sending Internet Control Message Protocol, ICMP, echo request packets to the target host and then waiting for an ICMP response. It can record the round trip time and any packet loss or routing loops. IP packets have a limited lifetime on the network. IPv4 packets use a 8-bit time to leap TTL. IPv6 packets use hub limit header field value. The TTL and the hub limit specify the maximum number of layer 3 hubs that can be traversed on the path to their destination. Each host on a network will set the 8-bit value with a maximum value of 255. Each time an IP packet arrives at a layer 3 network device, this value is reduced by 1 before it is forwarded to the destination. If this value eventually reaches 0 before reaching the destination, the IP packet is discarded. Test network connectivity to R1 using PCI. All the pings from PCA to other devices in the topology should be successful. If they are not, check the topology and the cabling, as well as the configuration of the Cisco devices and the PCs. From PCA, ping the default gateway using the IPv4 address. Gigabit 001 interface of R1. Okay, look at that logical topology ping from PCA to gigabit 001 on R1 this interface and the IP address of gigabit 001 on R1 the IP for us is 192.168.11 so that's why from PCA ping 192.168.11 Okay, from PCA, ping gigabit interface on R1. Common prompt, ping 192.168.11. Success. In this example, for ICMP requests, that have 32 bytes each were sent. Okay. Four ICMP requests, four with 32 bytes each. The responses were received in less than one millisecond. Okay, less than one millisecond. Okay, in this case, 5 milliseconds, and in this case, 9 milliseconds. But these two cases, less than 1 millisecond, with no packet loss. Okay, loss, 0. 0% 0 loss. The transmission and replay time can increase as the ICMP requests and responses are processed by more devices during the journey to and um, from the destination. This can also be done using the IPv6 address of the default gateway 
gigabit 001 interface on R1. Okay, the IPv6 address of gigabit 001 on R1 is 2001 DBA ACAD 1 colon colon 1. Ping 2001 DBA ACAD 1 colon colon 1. Success. From PCA, ping the addresses listed in the following table and record the average round trip time and IPv4 TTL or IPv6 hub limit. Okay. Okay, ping 192.168.110. Okay, 192.168.110 is PCA. Okay, so PCA can ping itself. One ten. Okay, success. Average round trip time. Two milliseconds. TTL. One hundred twenty eight. Think the IPv six address of PCA in this. Two zero zero one DB eight ACAD one column column check. Success average seven milliseconds TTL one hundred twenty eight ping the default gateway one ninety two one sixty eight one one ping again average zero milliseconds because the round trip time is less than one millisecond and TTL is 255. So now you can see the difference when you ping to a PC, when the destination is a PC, the TTL is 128. But when you ping a router, a network device like a router, the TTL is 255. IPv6 address okay. of the default gateway, IPv6 address, this. Average zero milliseconds. TTL 255 ping to S1 192.168.12 this S1 ping from PCA to S1 average 0 milliseconds because the round trip time is less than 1 millisecond and TTL 255 ping the IPv6 address of S1 this IPv6 column column 2 okay average 0 milliseconds TTL 255 Ping to 641002 on R1. Okay. Is the uh, is the IP IPv4 address on gigabit 00 on R1? This interface. The interface that is connected to the ISP. Okay, on R1 gigabit 000. 
64102. Success aberration. Zero milliseconds, TTL 255. The IPv6 address on the same interface, this IPv6 address. 2031 DBA ACAD column column 2 average 0 milliseconds or hop limit 255 bring to 641001 the ISP okay gigabit 000 on ISP Gigabit 000 ISP 641001. 641001. Okay, first ping fails. Okay, anyway, the another pings are okay. Uh, average time one millisecond. TTL is 254. Okay, it's 254 because it is 255 minus 1. Okay, minus 1 minus the R1 hop. Okay, this layer 3 device R1 255. 255 minus one hop that is R1 hop. Okay, the IPv6 address of the same interface, this IPv6 address 2001 dba ACAD colon colon one. Average time four milliseconds. Hub limit 254. Pink 209165 200 225. The ISP gigabit 001. This interface gigabit 001 on ISP is 209165 200 225. Pink 209165 The destination host is unreachable. Okay, ping the IPv6 address of the same interface. Ping to 2001 DBA ACAD column to 200 colon column 225. Okay, request timeout. Request timeout. Okay, ping to 209165 200 226, the external server. Ping to this server. 209165 200 226. Destination host unreachable, and the IPv6 address on the server 2001 ACAD 200226. Request timeout. Perform pings from S1 to external server. From S1 attempt to ping ISP and external using IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. Okay, use this.
these IP addresses the gigabit 000 on ISP with IPv4 and IPv6 okay but I need to enter to console in switch so use a console cable to connect from PCA RS232 port and connect the console on the switch but where is the console port right click rear inspect rear and connect to console now you have the connection go to PCI close the command prompt open terminal okay and enter enable ping IP4 address okay you can be zero 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 on ISP enter success IPv6 address to zero zero one DBA ACAD column column one Okay, IPv6 address and gigabit 000 on ISP. Enter. Ping fails and look at the addressing table on IPv4 and S1. You have IP address and default gateway, and on IPv6 you have IPv6 address and default gateway. But remember, on real on real app, S1 will get automatically the default gateway. In this case, FE80.1. But Packet Tracer does not support this process, so S1 will not get this default gateway on IPv6 so that's why the ping fails okay and continue with gigabit 001 on ISP IPv4 and IPv6 is uh, 209, Unreachable okay, and IPv6 is um, 200 column column 225. Okay, and um, Okay, ping fails. Ping to external server, ping to the server. 226. Okay, unreachable and IPv6 226. Okay, timeout ping fails. What are the ping results from S1 to ISP and external? Okay, the ping was successful to gigabit 000 on ISP using IPv4. But using IPv6, the ping is um, unsuccessful because S1 doesn't have the the fall gateway and the pings to and the pings to gigabit 001 and external server 
you see IP4 and IP6 were unsuccessful. Okay. Use tracer and trace root commands for basic network testing. For Windows based PC, the tracer command uses ICMP messages to trace the path to the destination. The trace root command uses the user datagram protocol UDP datagrams for tracing routes to the destination for Cisco devices and other Unix like PCs. You will examine the trace route commands and determine the path that uh, packet travels to the destination. You will use tracer command from the PCs and the trace route command from the Cisco devices. You will also examine the options that are available for fine tuning the trace route results. From PCA, use tracer command to external external server. Okay, from PCA, command prompt tracer to external server. Okay, close terminal, open command prompt, and use trace route. In this case, for tracer, okay, and use tracer to external server IP for others. You can stop the trace route by pressing Ctrl C. Okay, Ctrl C. The first hop is router R1. Remember the tracer is from PCA to the server. The first layer 3 device is R1, so it's the first hop. And the second hop is ISP. ISP. And ISP. Uh, is repeated and request timeout. Okay, the third hop should be the server, but no, is uh, again the ISP. And fourth hop request timeout. So tracer fails. The tracer result indicates the path from PCA to external is from PCA to R1 to ISP and is unable to arrive at external server. The tracer results indicate an issue at the ISP router. Okay, this is R1 and this is the ISP router. The problem is here. Repeat the tracer using IPv6. Okay, use tracer. Okay, and look at this. Uh, control C to stop. Control C to stop. And you can see this. Uh, this is R1. This is ISP. R1 again. ISP again. R1 again. ISP again. And so on. Okay, obviously. The tracer fails and the problem is on ISP. From S1, use the trace root command to external. Okay, from S1, type trace root in the IP for address of external and trace root with IP6 address on external. Okay, and click on PCA. Remember the connection to the console of S1 terminal. Okay. Okay, put on Cisco devices trace root and the IP for others of the external server. Okay, and the first hub is R1, the second hub ISP, the third hub again ISP and host unreachable. 
Okay, and timeout. Mm. So the problem is on ISP router. Okay, to stop the trace route, press Control Shift Six. Okay, and for me it was not necessary, but try with IPv6 trace route. Okay, trace root fails. And to a stop, use uh, Control Shift 6. Control Shift 6. Okay. And uh, fails. And the trace root commands has additional options. You can use the question mark or just press Enter after typing trace root and the prompt to explore these options. The following link provides more information. Do not click here. Do not click here because the instructions will disappear. Okay, so you can use uh, Cisco Trapping Trace Route. Okay, and use this. Use this height. And now you can see. Uh, for example, this table. Uh, exclamation point indicates received of a reply. This is success. Okay, for pink. The exclamation is success. For example, uh, this. And, uh, each period indicates the network server timeout. Okay, this is timeout. Timeout. This is uh, a destination unreachable. Okay, unreachable. And for pings, uh, you can uh, enter ping, press enter, and you can use a protocol by default IP. Uh, you can uh, specify a destination address, and repeat count five, by default is five. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, by default. Mm -hmm. The diagram size, the timeout by default to seconds, extended commands. Okay, and more options. Trace root. Host unreachable. Port unreachable, timeout. Host unreachable, timeout. Correct the network connectivity issue at ISP. Access the network location where the connectivity issue is occurring. From the terminal of S1 SSH into the ISP router using GOV000 interface to correct the problem. Okay, this is the prompt of PCA. So you can access from common prompt of PCA using SSH to the ISP or from the command line interface of S1, you can access to ISP using SSH. Okay, I will do it from the terminal of S1. 
So click on PCA. Okay, enter, and this is the S1 uh, enable SSH option, SSH option L. It's not one, it's L. The username is admin. And the IP address of gigabit 000 on ISP 64 100 You have remote SSH access to all the network devices using username admin and password class. You press enter, password is class. Now you are on ISP router, on this router. Use show commands to examine the running configurations for the ISP router. Okay, the mm, show running config, enter. The outputs of the show running and show IP interface brief commands indicate that the gigabit Ethernet 001 interface is up, protocol up, but that it is configured with an incorrect IP address. Okay, space, 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 and gigabit 001, IP address 192.168.a1. Okay, and on ISP, the gigabit 001 IPv4 address should be 209.165.200.225. Okay, it's incorrect. IPv6, um, IPv6, um, IPv6 here should be 200 and is 201. Okay, should be 200 and is 201. So IPv6 is also incorrect. Um, show IP interface brief. Incorrect IP address. Interface app, protocol app. Show IPv6 interface brief. Incorrect IP address. Interface up protocol up. Correct the issues you found. Copy and paste the following configuration into the ISP router to correct the issue in the SSH session to the ISP router. Okay, access configure terminal, access interface gigabit 001. Remove the remove the and the current IP address, IP4 address, set the correct IP address, remove the, the current IPv6 address, and set, and set the correct IPv6 address. Also set the link local address that should be FE80225. FEA0225 and no shutdown. Okay, no shutdown, not necessary, but anyway, do it. Okay, um, you are on ISP router, configure your terminal, interface you with 001, no IP address. 181 CCA, A1, 285, 285, 285, 0. Set the correct 209.165.200.225, 285, 285, 285, 284. Connection timeout, remote host not responding. Okay, so access again to the SSH on ISP. Enter password is class. Okay, and show running config. Okay, this is very good. Okay, and go to your terminal interface, you get zero, zero, 001. Remove the IPv6 address. 
or IPv6 address to 001 DBA ACAD 201 colon colon 205 prefix 128 uh, prefix 225 225 prefix 128 okay remove this when you bit 001 remove this and set the new uh, the new and set the new IPv6 address IPv6 address 2001 db8 ACAD 200 200 colon colon 225 prefix 64 okay set the link local fe80 fe80 colon colon 225 link local no shutdown okay and, and verify show running config okay and this is very good and show ip interface brief Mm, very good. Show IPv6 interface brief. Okay, very good. Exit the SSH session. Okay, exit. Exit from ISP. And now you are on S1. Verify end to end connectivity from PCI, ping, and tracer. Click on PCI. Close terminal, open command prompt, and ping external server. Okay, success, ping to the external server. Ping to the external server using IPv6. Success. Use tracer with IPv4. Okay, this hub is R1. This is ISP. This is the server. And tracer using IPv6. Okay, very good. The three hubs. Use extended ping commands. Use extended ping commands on PCA. The default ping command sends four requests of 32 bytes each. It waits 4,000 milliseconds, four seconds for each response to be returned before displaying the request timeout message. The ping command can be fine tuned for troubleshooting a network. Okay, this is for command prompt on a PC, a Windows PC, okay? At the command prompt, type ping and press enter. Okay, click on PCA and be sure you are on the command prompt, ping and press enter. And now you can see the options, T option, Ping external to verify the external is reachable. The T option will continuously ping the target until stopped. Use Control C to stop the ping sequence. Okay, ping to the external server, but use option T. Okay, continuously ping the target. Okay. Press Ctrl C to stop the process. Ctrl C. To illustrate the results, when a host is unreachable, shut down the Gigabit Ethernet 001 interface on ISP router. Okay, shut down this interface, Gigabit 001 on ISP. From switch S1 SSH to the ISP gigabit 00 interface, use the password class. 
okay, and shut down to disable gigabit Ethernet 001. Okay, close common prompt, open terminal, okay. And uh, use this command to access gigabit 000, gigabit 000 on ISP. Okay, enter, use class, configure terminal interface, gigabit 0, 0, 001, shut down. Okay, very nice. And, okay, and access PCA and close terminal, open command prompt, ping to the server. And use option T for uh, continuous ping. Enter. Okay, destination host unreachable. Request timeout unreachable. Re enable interface. Close command prompt. Open terminal. And the interface you go with 001, not shut down. Enter. Okay, very good. Close terminal, go to command prompt. And uh, now the ping. Okay, and now ping response. Okay, very good. Control C to stop the ping command. Control C. Okay, packet sent 56, receive it 34. The above steps can be repeated for IPv6. What ICMP error messages did you receive? Request timeout and destination host unreachable. Okay, enable gigabit 001. Uh, okay, to go to next step. Test network connectivity from R1 network using Cisco devices. From R1 ping external. Okay, and from, from S1 access uh, R1 using SSH and use the IP4 address of gigabit 001. Close command prompt, and go to terminal, and exit from ISP. Exit, exit, exit. Now you are on S1 and use this command. The username is admin. But the IP before others is 182.168.11 okay, to access R1. Password is class. Now you are on R1. And ping external server. Success. The exclamation point indicates that the ping was successful because localhost table was configured on R1, you can ping external before. Okay, ping external before, case sensitive. Success. What is the IP address used? Okay, is the IP before address of external server 209.165.200.226? Okay, you can see this 209, 165, 200, 226. Okay, and there are more options available for the ping command with on privilege exit mode. Okay, privilege exit mode. 
you are on R1 privilege exit mode, and you can use uh, ping with more options. Enter protocol IP by default, but use IPv6. The IPv4, uh, the IPv6 address 2001 DBA ACAD 200 colon colon 226. Okay, this is very good. Okay, this is the IPv6 address of external server. Okay, count five, enter, and uh, datagram size 100, timeout in sequence two, extended commands, no by default, enter. A sweep range of sizes, no, enter. Success. You can use an extended ping to observe where there is a network issue. Start the ping command to 209.165.200.226 with a repeated count of 50,000. Then shut down gigabit 001 interface on ISP router. Okay. Uh, Ping IPv4, okay, enter IP address 209.165.200.226, the IPv4 address of external server counts 50,000, enter datagram size, enter, 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 okay, and Okay, and shut down the gigabit 001 on R1. Okay, and close terminal, open command prompt. And from PCA command prompt, you can access SSH of ISP. SSH option L, admin, ISP, gigabit 00 interface. Password is class. Configure terminal interface gigabit 001 shutdown. Okay, close command prompt. Go to terminal. You now you can see unreachable timeout, unreachable timeout, unreachable timeout. Okay, and The letter U in the results indicate that the destination is unreachable. An error PDU was received by R1. Each period in the output indicates that the ping timed out while waiting for a reply from the external server. Okay, and click here. Mm. Close terminal, open common prompt, uh, interface gigabit 001 on ISP, not shut down. Okay, exit, 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 and close this, go to terminal, and now connection is re established. Ping success. The ping command is extremely useful when troubleshooting network connectivity. Ping cannot indicate the location of a problem when a ping is not successful. The tracer or trace route command can display network latency and path information. Check results, verify all the assessment. Okay, completion 100%. 
What could prevent pink or trace root responses from reaching the originating device beside network connectivity issues? Firewall on the PCs, access list commands, routing issues, interface down, network delay. If you ping a non existent address on the remote network, such as 29165 200 227, what is the message displayed by the ping command? What does this mean? If you ping a valid host address and receive this response, what should you check? Okay, go to PCA. Okay, terminal is, is ping and command prompt, for example. From command prompt on PCA, okay, you are on PCA. Ping, for example, a uh, non existent address 209, 165, 200, 227. Enter. Okay, request timeout. This means that there was no response in the default time period. Some of the items you may check. Router is down, destination host is down. Return route to your device and latency of the response is not more than the default time period. If you ping an address that does not exist in any network in your topology, such as 181.68.5.3. From a Windows based PC, what is the message displayed by the ping command? What does this message indicate? Okay, for from command prompt ping uh, to a non existent network. Okay, non existent network 81.68.5.3. Okay, the destination host unreachable. This message indicates that there is no route to the destination as the network is not listed by the routing table. 